Alright guys, Simon here, we're playing Mass Effect 2, and I think I fixed the problem. Um, yeah, hopefully it's not uh, doing this again. So the problem was because I'm on the laptop, uh, when, when I'm running on battery power, the computer throttles the CPU and the GPU, so it, it reduces power, and so then there's, there's, it's less, like it, it's, it's slower when it does that. But and and then sometimes when you plug the computer back in, you know, plug the power back in, it doesn't actually register, and it doesn't you know restore full power to the CPU. So that's what happened. So I you know I unplugged it again and I plugged it back in, and then everything ran faster. So let me just get this done. So hopefully we're not gonna have any of the lag issues, or the frame rate issues, or the or the sound stuttering issues that we had before. Alright, let me just go to op options, options. Go to input. I think the camera sensitivity doesn't actually do anything. I'm gonna go back to graphics. I'm gonna turn this, these two back on. And uh, we're not, I don't think we're gonna have any problems at all. Let me just load game and yeah, freedom's progress. All right, let's let's go. So in the last set of videos, we had uh, an introduction. We went pretty much straight into the action, and then there was a little bit of storytelling. The elusive man telling us to go to freedom's progress to see what's going on. Now there's there's a lot less story time. In fact, I don't know. I mean, either there. Either they've decided that the players are going to figure it out for themselves as they play the game, or they've maybe they've decided to just push the storytelling until later on. That's not what I want. Uh, either way, I think the the idea was a good one in the sense that you know you know, you, you put less talking up front and more action up front. And, I mean, the story will reveal itself over time, you don't need to tell everything at the start. You know, as you, as you kind of interact with the characters, and you see the places, and you see the story, things will be revealed, like, you don't have to, you know, get the whole history of the entire galaxy right at the beginning, you know? Anyway, you see how much smoother this is. Wow, this is so much better. And that's just because my CPU was throttled before. Okay, this is much, much better. I'm sorry about what happened in the previous four videos. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. But uh, this is how the game is supposed to be, not what it was. Yeah, I remember really sorry about that, although it's not, you know, it's not entirely my fault. It's not like, you know, I did it on purpose or anything. But, uh, well, here we go. Let's, let's not worry about that anymore. So we've, we've got the... Hmm... I, I'm just trying to remember... So the, the prefab stuff is kind of similar to Mass Effect 1 prefab stuff, but there's, there's more of it. So you see there's, there's kind of containers, there's those drums, there's more drums, there's containers. There's just more of it, and so you, they, they manage to make different arrangements of it, so it looks less like prefab and a little more, you know, believable. Like that. I, I guess those are all just the same modules stacked up. But it's just you know, just adding a little bit of variety and not relying so much on cut and paste really helps make this game not boring. And uh, yeah, you know, not boring is good. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Yeah. So everything is quiet. Obviously, they made it deliberately quiet to make you, uh, yeah, to, to unsettle the player. You know, what's going on? What's going on? There's a can. Oh look! Physics! There's physics in this game, look at that! You can shoot the can and it flies off. So yeah, you know, there's a lot of prefabs, or you know, in, in terms of, you know, there's a lot of repeated elements, but they've just kind of scattered them about. And you see these things again in, in the third game as well. But you know, as I said, they've just you know, arranged them in a way that makes it doesn't look like it's entirely repetitive. I don't know what this stuff is, like like that. Is that natural stone that's like that, or is it some sort of construction? Like this, is that some sort of natural geographic, you know, geolo geological, 
you know, structure, or is it something that's been built by something? I don't know... It doesn't look human, right? It doesn't look natural, neither. Maybe it's just some sort of alien planet. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Alright, so we're gonna walk down here. Actually, I don't think anything's gonna happen there yet. I'm gonna walk across here. Yeah, so the suspense, right? There's no music. It's kind of waiting for things to happen. Although there's loot. Oh, there's the loot. Let's salvage some parts. Get a thousand credits for that. Wait a minute. What is that? That's a glitch. That's not supposed to happen. There's thrusters in the air. That's your shuttle, by the way. Alright, let's open the door. Because what can possibly go wrong? What can possibly go wrong? Oh look, Mex. Sounds like Fenris Mex. Strange. Security systems were disabled at the other colonies. They're through my shields. Um, I'm not used to having to Excuse press space me. to take cover. Ah! I've got it. Wait a minute, he's still alive? Ah. Wow, really? <clears throat> okay, now I'm getting flanked. Shoot them before they take out the shield. I got it. Drop them. Target down. Uh, I need to. Oh, I'm not using my ammo power. All right, thanks, game. Yeah. Thanks for telling me. Uh, thanks for telling me after the Someone battle is over. Them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Yes, all right, so a little bit of combat, you know. See, like, this stuff, again, like, it's just, it's prefab. It's just, it's copy and pasting, right? You see that, and that, and that. But there's enough variety to make it not look like copy and paste. Which is, which is good, right? Which is good. I mean, they actually look like prefabs, and that, that, those things exist in the real world. I mean, prefabs, if you don't understand what that is, is basically, you just build a lot of, you know, modules and factories and then you kind of ship them onto site, and then you, you live in them, I guess, or you work in them. So they're, they're kind of prefabricated, you know, they're, they're made off-site and they're transported here. I mean, it happens a lot in the real world. So it looks like that, even though, you know, in-game it's also copy and pasted, but you, but you don't mind it, because it doesn't look copy and pasted. Does that make sense? We've been spotted. Uh, fail. So this is... Yeah. It looks much better than in the first game, that's for sure. Alright, so let's pick up some loot. You know, we're gonna loot here, we're gonna loot here. I don't know if I have how many times, like how many chances I get for these. Um, that's that, that, there, and then that's that, there. Okay, okay, I've got it. We got it. 2,000 credits, that's good, thank you. Maybe I should quick save before I try the hacking things. You know, like, you know, three rubbish bins, they're identical, but then they copy and paste it and then they put it down. Like, they, they, are, they copy and paste it, but then you'd also expect them to be identical in the real world as well, so you don't really mind, right? So that's good. Yeah, they've done a much better job with level design. And the combat, too. Somewhat more interesting, like the... Oh, hi. Stop right there! Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me, it was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. 
He was here on pilgrimage. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Hey look, it's Tally. Cool. And she uh, finished her pilgrimage and now she's in charge of a squad. Look at that. Everyone's growing up. That's pretty cool, right? You see character development. That's always uh, interesting. Where are we going? Also, drama. Cerberus drama. Nobody likes you, Miranda. Nobody likes you. How do you feel? Nobody likes Cerberus. How does that make you feel? Alright, so we're gonna come uh, this Careful, way. A squad of security drones up ahead. Oh, look. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. There they are. I don't remember if they shoot rockets or not. They might. In which case, I'd be sad. Because rockets make me sad. Activating. Unless I'm firing the rockets. In which case, they make me happy. What? Oh. Okay, well now it's dead. Uh, war safe. So they've changed the hacking things too. Like, this is also better, I feel like. Although... I still don't know if they're... Oops, don't click on that. I don't, still don't know if it's a good idea for the game. This hacking stuff. I mean, it's not... It gets really, really repetitive after you've done it the 50th time to get 2,000 credits. It gets really repetitive. So I don't know. Right. That's the wrong button. Sorry, I don't really mean to do that. Use overload on them. Use what? No, you no, you no, you use overload on them. Because I'm just gonna sit down here and shoot them. In. Oh, they have rockets. Okay, use use overload on them. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna use overload on them. Because there we go. they have rockets. Yeah, you you do that. You do. Perfect. You'll notice that I'm getting achievements for using Shepherd, overload. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. You know, in a combat situation, you really need to follow orders. Bad things happen when you don't follow orders. I mean, I'm not... I don't like authority, but I understand in combat situations, you need to follow orders. Anyway, you notice that I'm getting achievements for using Overload, because I've never used Overload before. Because I'm lazy and I just want to shoot things. Maybe I should get those achievements. I mean, I've got most of the other achievements. I mean, I've played through these games several times before, so... I've done most of things, just uh, haven't used Overload, that's all. Alright. Nothing here, maybe I should look at the map. Is there a map? Is it? Oh, there's a... There's not really a map. Okay, maybe... Never mind. I mean, in terms of level design, it's basically just one long corridor. And being the first, you know, real level, the real... You know, combat area. It's not surprising that they've kept it simple, right? Here goes. How is that thing still alive? Huh. Okay.
Okay, rockets. That one less. Yeah, so they're keeping things simple at the start of the game, which is uh, not surprising. Yes. I don't think it gets too much more complicated than this, though, even later on. Like, they don't really... You're done. Hurry, Shepard. We're inside the loading docks. Vitor reprogrammed the heavy mech. It's tearing Praza's squad apart. Yeah. They did want to get to Vitor first. Yeah. Get your squad into cover, and I'll open the loading bay doors. That's we'll why We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Orders. All right, well, here we go. We're learning about commanding a squad. What was I saying? Yeah, oh yeah, so the, the levels are quite simple, mostly just kind of one path, and you just shoot your way through Take things. Point, we'll cover the door. I guess it was pretty much the same in the first game as well, although in the first game the levels were really big, and often you had to kind of run around for a long time to get to you where you need to go. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. I mean, the, the game is not about exploration, really. Nor is it about, you know, pathfinding, or... Orienteering. Take point, we'll cover the door. It's mostly about shooting things. Uh, I don't know. You got it. Right. I'm not. I'm not really gonna go down there because you see what happens. We'll take cover by the doors, Shepard. You take point. I'm not taking point. I'm not. Okay, you need to. Um, Grabbing cover. Get to cover. Take point, Shepard. This is a bad idea. This is. I really shouldn't be that close to the door because there's a giant robot. You see that? There's a giant robot. Oh look, she found out about the giant robot. Yeah, there's that thing. It's got rockets. Look at that, rockets. They found out about rockets. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. No. No, they didn't. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Now, this is the sort of moment where I would... Take out their shields. Where I would just, you know, run the hell away. I got it. That didn't do anything to its shields, Miranda. <clears throat> Wait, is she dead already? And Jacob, why are you... Jacob, don't... Systems failing. Did they seriously just stand around and get shot? Oh, I'm just gonna take cover here and shoot him in the head for a little bit. Guys, guys, shoot him. Guys, guys, can you guys uh, do something? Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for those two. Firing now. That didn't really do anything there. Warp is heavy armor to weaken it. About to get hot. Okay, I just got hit. Well, that, that's not, you know, that's not too bad, I think. Uh, we did pretty well. I mean, they just kind of stood around and got shot a few times, but uh, overall we did okay. Uh, they did not do okay. See, see that? That's not okay. That's also why you don't run ahead in a combat situation when your commander tells you not to run ahead, guys. Alright, let's uh, look around. Oh, Tally's here. Let, let's come back. We'll come back to Tally later on. Let's just um, pick up some loot first, because there is loot. You can see the loot lying around. Let me just uh, walk over here, bypass this. Oh, power cells. Nice. Heavy weapon ammo? Maybe I should have used that. What have I, what have I got? Grenades? Maybe I should use grenades. Well, I do have sniper rifle and shotgun as well. I'm gonna keep forgetting that I have weapons. Alright, this again. 